Beneath Edmond, running along city streets and right-of-ways, is a network of utility lines crucial to the inner workings of the city. Nearly 450 miles of water lines carry fresh, drinkable water to Edmond residents and businesses. Another 425 miles of sanitary sewer lines carry wastewater away from homes and to Edmond's wastewater treatment plant. The Field Services Department is responsible for repairing those water lines when there is a major leak. Their crews remove tree roots and other blockages in the sanitary sewer lines. If you have a sewer line, a city sewer line back up in the middle of the night or a city water line break on Thanksgiving, these are the people who get out and make those repairs. Above the ground, Field Services also maintains 1,300 lane miles of city streets. The types of things that they do every day, day in and day out, or ensure the safety of, the of our traveling public on our roadways. It also includes repairing asphalt and concrete pavement, sealing street cracks, and patching holes. In 2006, when the city of Edmond consolidated some of the field services groups into one division, employees were being cross-trained to work street maintenance, water line maintenance, and wastewater line maintenance. When that happened, we realized that there wasn't any training available that met industry standards. At the time, newer employees were learning the trade from an older employee who once upon a time learned their job from an employee before them. Now there's nothing wrong with that and that's worked for a lot of years. The problem is if the older employees are teaching bad habits, the newer employees are gaining bad habits and not knowing that. They feel that that's the right way. So what we saw and what we knew was uh, we needed a consistency in training. The City of Edmond worked with the Francis Tuttle Technology Center to create a curriculum specifically geared for municipal workers. We come to realize that if, this, if the City of Edmond needed this training, then many other municipalities would as well. So in December of 2008, the City of Edmond and Francis Tuttle partnered together to develop the Center for Municipal Excellence, commonly called the CME. That's what the Center of Municipal Excellence does, is provide the necessary and appropriate training consistently across the board for our employees. All right, so signs should have been different with us. The Center for Municipal Excellence operates out of the Business Innovation Center near Covell and I-35. They have two dedicated classrooms there, completely set up with all audio-visual, the various props. We have cutaways of valves and fire hydrants and the various components that they would work with so that they're actually working with them hands-on. They prepare you very well for the job. Um, they give you uh, all the knowledge and tools that you need to, to do it, and it's, it's helpful. Most of the classes are 16 to 24 hours in length, so uh, over the course of two or three days, and um, about half that time they spend in the classroom and half of it they spend on the training ground. Across the street on Edmonds Cross Timbers Municipal Complex are the training facilities where students do a lot of their hands-on education. We have buried lines that are uh, buried underneath. We actually have the ability to charge up water lines and fire hydrants. We can simulate a leak to where they actually have to go through the, uh, th through the steps just as they would on a job site. The hands-on part of that has just been astronomical in the way that it has developed our skills and our people. The courses were challenging, but not out of reach. They start off with your basic knowledge of the course and work your way through it. Providing this important training is a group of experienced professionals. We're talking about instructors that understand the hands-on, that have been out there, that have performed the work, can answer the questions, and can lead them and guide them. Teaching consistency to all the employees is key. No matter what goes on out in our community, they can respond and be able to perform adequately. What it does for them is it allows them to step in at any place in the project or the progress of the work and be able to step in and actually contribute because they know where they are and where they're going because of the consistency of the training. That is something that has been lacking for some time. Therefore, everyone knows exactly what everyone else should be doing and how it should be done. In the course of the training, the employees not only um, become excited about what they're learning, but they really start to develop a sense of pride in what they do, and it totally changes the way that a lot of them feel about their jobs. When you know your employer is investing in your performance, then it does change the way you feel about going to work. It has given them the ability 
to understand that the details of what they do are just as important as the big outcome. And the results have been stunning. Since the implementation of this program, the City of Edmond has seen a 60% reduction in workers' compensation claims. They have also seen an 80% reduction in tort claims against the city. Before the CME training, the city would subcontract a lot of emergency work to private companies. Very little of that is done today. In June of 2010, when quick and heavy flash floods caused serious damage to drainage areas, the city suggested hiring contractors to handle the workload. And the employee said, well, now, wait a minute. We think we can make that repair ourselves. And they did. Um, they did a lot of things in-house that prior to the training would have been contracted out and it saved the city about $170,000 just in that one specific instance. That has saved the city of a lot of money. But more than saving the money to the city, it's the pride of workmanship that our, our folks have in that they're actually succeeding in areas where they hadn't before. And you just can't put a price tag on that. If you'd like to learn more about Edmonds Field Services Department, please visit edmondok.com. To learn more about the Center for Municipal Excellence, you can visit centerformunicipalexcellence.com or call 216-7827.